and Pastor Solomon Falone Shaw, coordinator of the International Christian Center and Home for the Needy Foundation, has reported that internally displaced persons at a camp in Uho Gua, Edo State, has been fasting for three days due to food shortages. We have been fasting three times every week, I tell you. This last week, we just did our three days fasting. And this week, I just don't want to push the children anymore. It's, it's, really, uh, it's really tough. It's tough, it's tough. All came together. There was no food. And then we turned it to prayers. Yes, there was no food. Yeah. There was no food at all. There was no food. It is well, it is well. It is well. The, the, the last one, the one we did last week was Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yes. So they believe that that same God would take them through this stage, this very situation that is indescribable. Because there's nothing to use to describe it at all. Yes, there's nothing to use to describe it. Some internally displaced persons at the camp are requesting government and well-meaning Nigerians to assist them in obtaining admission to various universities for law and medicine studies. So many times, like the instances that happen in my own side, it has taken me away from my homeland and it has sent me away with pains and injury. I have passed many things. I have passed through many things. I spent more than three years in the bush without eating anything except the mud water that we, are, we, all, we all drank once. And that is an injustice. And we have not eaten anything throughout. We, we found ourselves in, we trekked throughout the bush for three days. I want to help the society in the place where I was because that is Gava, local government. I can see there was no any hospital there. And there was no like health center, all these ones. So especially the pregnant women and all children and that, they will be sick. They will be having this kind of these sicknesses. And before they were able to get to the uh, general hospital in Medjugorje, Borno, it will take a time. And from there, some unfortunate thing can happen. Life can be lost through there. So that thing inspired me. So I said, after me studying medicine and surgery, I want to go to my society to build back hospital to help both the young and the old.